Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to share with you the solution for formative exercise 6.6 KSSM textbook. Okay, question number one. Solve each of the following trigonometric equations for x more equals than 0 but less or equals than 360 degree. Question A. We got 2 cos x minus 10 degree equals to negative 1. So then cos x minus 10 equals to negative 1 over 2. Okay, so x sugar to coffee, quad, uh, cos negative in quadrant uh, 2 and quadrant 3. Okay, so to find angles of x minus 10, we press calculator shift cos 1 over 2. We get 60 degree. Okay, so just now we identify angles in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. So therefore... Uh, x minus 10 in quadrant 2, 180 minus 60, which is 120. And in quadrant 3, 200, uh, 180 plus 60, which is 240. So, x equals to 130 and 250 degree. Okay, question B. Tangent squared x equals to second x plus 2. Okay, to solve this question, actually, there are a few methods. Okay, maybe you can substitute uh, tangent by using base identity. Tangent squared is second squared minus 1. Okay, but I don't want to use that one. I just substitute tangent is sine over cos. Okay, so tangent squared is sine squared x over cos squared x. Okay, second is 1 over cos plus 2. Okay, so then all uh, times cos squared become sine squared x equals to uh, cos squared x over cos x plus 2 cos squared x. Okay, then this I can simplify. Okay, so uh, by using basic identity, sine squared Okay, I can substitute 1 minus cos squared. Okay, 1 minus cos squared x equals to cos x plus 2 cos squared x. Okay, so all this bring to the right. So, 0 equals to cos x plus 2 cos squared x minus 1 plus cos squared x. Okay, so then this one is 3 cos squared x. Uh, plus cos x minus 1 equals to 0. Okay, uh, apparently this one we cannot factorize. Okay, so then you can use formula of quadratic. Okay, so cos x equals to negative b plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So b is, okay, a is 3, b is 1, c is negative 1. So substitute into negative b plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so negative 1 plus minus square root 1 squared minus 4, 3, negative 1. Okay, over 2a, 2 times 3. This we will get 0 0.4343 and negative 0 0.7676. Okay, then we solve one by one. Okay, cos x equals to 0 0.4343 okay positive cos x sugar to coffee in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4 okay so x equals to shift cos 0 0.4343 okay which is equals to 64.26 in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4 360 minus 64.26 which is equals to 295.74 Okay, so another one, cos uh, x equals to negative 0 0.7676. Okay, cos negative in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. So, x equals to inverse cos 0 0.7676. Okay, this one we will get 39.86. Okay, but now, just now we identify these angles in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. Okay, in quadrant 2, sorry. In quadrant 2, uh, 180 minus 39.86 is 140.14. And in quadrant 3, 180 plus 39.86 which is 219.86. Okay, finally, we conclude x equals to 64.26, uh, 140.14, 219.86, 
and 295.74 degree. Then question 1c, we got 3 sin x plus 4 cos x equals to 0. Okay, so this one relation between sin and cos is tangent. So 3 sin x equals to negative 4 cos x. So sin x over cos x equals to negative 4 over 3. So sin over cos is tangent x equals to negative 4 over 3. Tangent in uh, negative in quadrant 2 and quadrant 4. So to find x, shift tangent 4 over 3, which is equals to um, 53.13. Okay, but uh, we identify angles in quadrant 2 and quadrant 4. So in quadrant 2, 180 minus 53.13, which is equals to 126.87. And in quadrant 4, 360 minus 53.13 is 306.87. We move next to question number 2. Given A between 0 and pi, solve each of the following equations. Question A, sine 2A equals to sine 4A. Okay, the angles are not uniform. Okay, so now we can convert. Sine for a becomes sine two times two a. Okay, so sine two a sine two a by using double angle for sine. This one is two sine two a cos two a. Okay, then all this bring to the left. So sine two a minus two sine two a cos two a equals to zero. Okay, the common factor is sine two a, so we can com uh, factorize. So, sine 2a, 1 minus 2 cos 2a equals to 0. Okay, so this one, sine 2a equals to 0. And another one, cos 2a equals to 1 over 2. Okay, sine 2a from graph of sine. Okay, from graph of sine uh, 0. Okay, this one, 2 pi, pi, maximum 1, minimum negative 1. This one, 0. So, then sine 2a is 0 here, here, and here. Meaning that uh, 2a equals to 0, 90 degree, and, sorry, 180 degree. 180 degree and 360 degree. So, then a equals to 0, 90, and 180 degree. Okay, for this one, so cos 2a is 1 over 2, so positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. So 2a equals to uh, cos 1 over 2 is um, 60. So cos inverse 1 over 2, which is equals to 60 in quadrant 1, but in quadrant 4, uh, one, 360 minus 60 which is equals to 300 so then a equals to 30 and 150 okay finally a equals to we rearrange 0 30 90 150 and 180 question b 5 cotangent squared A minus 4 cotangent A equals to 0. So then the common factor is cotangent A. So we factorize cotangent A in the bracket 5 cotangent A minus 4 equals to 0. Okay, from here cotangent A equals to 0. And another one cotangent A equals to 4 over 5. Okay, cotangent is 1 over tangent. So, 1 over tangent A equals to 0. So, then tangent A equals to 1 over 0 is undefined. Okay, so from graph of tangent, 1, 2, 3, 4, undefined is at this 1 pi, this 1, 2 pi. So, uh, undefined is at 90 degree and uh, 270 degree. Okay, so for cotangent A equals to 4 over 5, 1 over tangent A equals to 4 over 5, then tangent A is 5 over 4. Okay, tangent positive in quadrant 1 and 3, so A equals to shift tangent 5 over 4. Okay, which is equals to 51.34. In quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2 plus 180 is 
Okay, so but from the question, uh, A is between 0 and pi. Meaning that from 0 to uh, 180. So then A equals to 51.34 and 90 degree. Number 3, show that tangent theta plus cotangent theta equals to second theta, cosecant theta. Then solve the equation second theta, cosecant theta equals to 4 cotangent theta. 4x between 0 to 360 degree. Okay, so uh, tangent theta plus cotangent theta equals to second theta, cosecant theta. So to prove, so I choose from uh, left hand side. So here, uh, we got tangent theta plus cotangent theta. Tangent is sine theta over cos theta. And cotangent is cos theta over sine theta. Okay, then we equate the denominator. So become cos theta sine theta. So this one is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. Okay, so uh, sine squared plus cos squared is 1 okay basic identity so 1 over cos theta sine theta okay so this one uh, 1 over cos theta times 1 over sine theta okay 1 over cos is second theta and 1 over sine is cos second theta so the left hand side is equals to right hand side then proven then we need to solve equation second theta cosecant theta equals to 4 cotangent theta. Okay, so second theta cosecant theta equals to 4 cotangent theta. Second is 1 over cos theta. Cosecant is 1 over sine theta equals to 4 cotangent is cos over sine. Cos theta over sine theta. Okay, so we cross multiplication. We got sine theta equals to 4 cos squared theta sine theta. Okay, so then we simplify 4 cos squared theta sine theta minus sine theta equals to 0. Then we can factorize. So sine theta in the bracket 4 cos squared theta minus 1. Okay, so then we solve this uh, equation. So, sine theta equals to 0. And 4 cos squared theta minus 1 equals to 0. So, then cos squared theta equals to 1 over 4. So, cos theta equals to square root 1 over 4. So, plus minus 1 over 2. Okay, so then we try to solve for the sine theta equals to 0 from the graph. Okay, so we know that uh, this one, uh, 180, 360, 0, 1, and negative 1. Okay, sine theta equal to 0, so then theta uh, equals to, okay, here, 0, 180, 360. So, 0, 180, 360. Okay, so for this one, okay, cos theta equals to 1 over 2, so all quadrants. Okay, so all quadrants, meaning that quadrant uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so theta shift cos 1 over 2 is 60. So theta is 60, uh, 60 in quadrant 1, in quadrant 2, 180 minus... 60, 120, in quadrant 3, 180, plus 60, 240, and in quadrant 4, 360 minus 60 is 300. Okay, so then we conclude, so therefore, theta equals to 0, 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, and 360. Question number four, if A, B, and C are angles in the triangle ABC, prove that A, uh, sine B plus C equals to sine A. Okay, to answer this question, first of all, we have to draw triangle with angle A, angle B, and angle C. So, question A, we got sine B plus C equals to 
sin e. Okay, to answer this question, we need to uh, use the prior knowledge, add sugar to coffee, quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. Okay, uh, to find the corresponding acute angle in quadrant 2 is 180 minus theta. In quadrant 3, theta minus 180 and in quadrant 4, 360 minus theta. Okay, so start from sign A. Okay, sign A, um, triangle, total angle is 180, so correspond to uh, angle in quadrant 2. Okay, so sign in quadrant 2 positive, uh, sign 180 minus theta, which is A in this situation. Okay, you can see here, this one, this triangle, total angle is 180. If 180 minus A is actually B plus C. So, this one equals to sine B plus C. So, proven. Same as question B. Okay, we got cos A. Okay, cos A in equivalent in quadrant 2. Quadrant 2 cos negative. So, negative cos 180 minus A. Okay, so this one same cos uh, B plus C. Okay, so therefore, cos B plus C equals to negative cos A. So, proven. Question number 5. The diagram on the right shows a trapezium ABCD. The side AB is parallel to DC and angle BCD equals to theta. Find the value of each of the following. Okay, A cos theta. Okay, theta from the diagram, theta is obtuse angle. So, you have to identify the acute angle correspond to this obtuse angle. So, therefore, you have to draw right angle triangle. Okay, so this one. Okay, so this is uh, acute angle that correspond to uh, theta. Okay, so then uh, since all this is 18 centimeter, this one 10 centimeter, this one 8 centimeter. So, this one 15, so same, 15 as well. Okay, so cos theta, theta obtuse, obtuse uh, cos in quadrant 2, cos in quadrant 2 is negative. Okay, so cha, okay, um, adjacent over hypotenuse, so then 8 over 17. So, cos theta equals to negative 8 over 17. B, sine to theta. Okay, sine to theta by using double angle formula for sine is 2 sine theta cos theta equals to 2. Okay, sine is so, so 15 over 17. Okay, sine in quadrant 2, obtuse, quadrant 2, positive. Okay, so then cos theta, same uh, from A, negative 8 over 17. Okay, so the answer is uh, negative 240 over Two eight nine. Question C. Uh, tangent to theta. Okay, same by using a uh, double angle formula for tangent. So tangent to theta is two tangent theta over one minus tangent squared theta. Okay, so tangent in quadrant two obtuse is uh, negative fifteen over eight. Okay, so negative fifteen over eight. Sorry. Okay, over 1 minus negative 15 over 8 squared. Okay, so then we can find the value is negative, eh, sorry, positive 240 over 161. Then determine the value of theta. So by using this, cos theta equals to negative 8 over 17. So, theta equals to shift cos negative 8 over 17, which is equals to 118.07 degree. Question number 6. An electric pole is reinforced by two cables as shown in the diagram on the right. It is given that the height of the pole AB equals to 24, distance BC equals to 7, angle BAC equals to theta, and angle ADB equals to 30 degree. A, without finding angle CAD, calculate the value of sine angle CAD, cos angle CAD, and tangent angle CAD. Okay, so A, 
uh, from this diagram, you have to find the BD first because given the uh, angles here. Okay, so then by using tangent, so tangent 30 equals to opposite is 24, uh, adjacent is BD. So then BD equals to 24 over tangent 30. Okay, uh, tangent 30, special angle 1 over third 3. So then BD equals to 24 third 3. Okay, so then let's say angle CAD equals to alpha. Okay, this one is alpha. Okay, so then we construct two right angle triangle here for the small one is a b c this one is seven this one is 24 by using pythagoras theorem this one is 25 okay and the big right angle triangle okay here is a d and b okay this one is 24 same this one is 24 third three and the hypotenuse will be 48. This is theta. This is theta plus alpha. By using addition formula for sine, so we can apply sine theta plus alpha equals to sine theta cos alpha plus cos theta sine alpha. Okay, so then we can refer the diagram here. Okay, the right angle triangle. Okay, sine um, alpha, theta plus alpha, this one. Okay, so which is equals to 24, 3 over 48. Okay, so sine theta, so this one is 7 over 25. Okay, cos uh, alpha, we don't know. Okay, um, then cos theta, okay, cos theta is 24 over 25 and sine alpha we don't have, okay. So now we can simplify this one is 2, so 3 over 2 equals to 7 over 25 cos alpha plus 24 over 25 sine alpha. Okay, to simplify this times 50, okay, so we will get 25 third 3 equals to 14 cos alpha plus 48 sine alpha. Okay, so then we can make uh, either one sine or cos as subject. Let's say we make uh, cos as subject. So cos alpha equals to 25 third 3 minus 48 sine alpha over uh, 14. This is equation 1. Okay, so same like uh, sine, we find uh, double uh, addition formula for cos. So cos theta plus alpha equals to cos theta cos alpha minus sine theta sine alpha. Okay, so from this triangle, you can find cos alpha uh, theta plus alpha, which is equals to, okay, this one, uh, for 24 over 48. Okay, so this one is uh, 24 over 48. Okay, cos theta 24 over 25. Okay, cos alpha minus sine theta okay sine theta is 7 over 25 uh, sine alpha okay so then we uh, simplify this one is 1 over 2 equals to 24 over 25 cos alpha minus 7 over 25 sine alpha okay so all times um, 50, okay, this one same, times 50, times 50, so then this one is equals to 25, equals to uh, 48 cos alpha minus 14 sine alpha.
Okay, so then make uh, cost as subject. Okay, so now we got uh, cost alpha equals to uh, 25 plus 14 sine alpha over 48. This is equation 2. This is cos alpha. This one is cos alpha. So then we equate these two equations. Okay, so then equation 1 equals to equation 2. So equation 1 equals to equation 2. So 25 set 3 minus 48 sine alpha over 14 equals to 25 plus 14 sine alpha over 48. Okay, so we simplify. This one is 7. This one is uh, 24 so we cross multiplication so become 633 minus 1152 sine alpha equals to 7 times 25 is 175 plus 7 times 14 98 sine alpha okay so then uh, sine alpha plus sine alpha. Okay, here we got 98 sine alpha plus 1152 sine alpha equals to um, 603 minus 175. Okay, so then this one is uh, 1, 2, 5, 0 sine alpha equals to 633 minus 175. So then sine alpha equals to 633 minus 175 over 1, 2, 5, 0. Okay, and sine alpha... Equals to we simplify six hundred over one two five zero, so um this one is twenty four. three minus seven, over fifty. Okay, let's say this is equation three to find cos alpha. You can substitute equation three into equation one or two. Okay, let's say I choose substitute uh, equation three into equation two. Okay, into here, into this equation. Okay, so then two, uh, three into two. Okay, so then cos alpha equals to 25 plus 14 uh, sine is 24 set 3 minus 7 over 50 okay over 48 okay over 48 okay so this one is 25 over this one we simplify okay uh, 14 over 48 24 set 3 uh, minus 7 over 50. Okay, so then this one equals to 25 over 48. Okay, plus um, 7 over, we expand. Okay, we expand 14 over 48 times 40, uh, 24 set 3 over 50. Okay, so 7 over 50. This uh, 3 so then 14 over 48 times negative 7 over 50 so 49 over 1 2 0 0 okay so then we simplify this one uh, become 7 over 50 set 3 uh, plus 12 over 25 Okay, so then we equate the denominator. Okay, so become 7, 3 plus 24 over 50. Okay, so this is the answer for cos alpha. Okay, same for tangent. We have uh, addition formula for tangent. Tangent theta plus alpha equals to tangent theta plus tangent alpha over... 
1 minus tangent theta tangent alpha. Okay, so then uh, by using the same uh, right angle triangle, so this one tangent uh, alpha pl theta plus alpha equals to 24 set 3 over 24. Okay, tangent theta is 7 theta. Okay, this one 7 over 20, uh, 24. 7 over 24. Okay, so plus tangent alpha over 1 minus 7 over 24 tangent alpha. Okay, so this one we can simplify. So 3, 1 minus 7 over 24 tangent alpha equals to 7 over 24 plus tangent alpha okay so then expand so search 3 minus 7 search 3 over 24 tangent alpha is 7 over 24 plus tangent alpha so we group together tangent with tangent so search 3 minus 7 over 24 equals to tangent alpha plus 7 Set 3 over 24 tangent alpha. So then we factorize tangent. Tangent alpha is 1 plus 7 set 3 over 24 equals to set 3 minus 7 over 24. Okay, so um this one become tangent alpha equals to uh, this one we equate the denominator this one pun equate the denominator okay so 24 set 3 minus 7 over 24 divided by uh, one, 24 plus 7 set 3 over 24 Okay, so then we can eliminate. Okay, so this one become tangent theta equals to 24 set 3 minus 7 over 24 plus 7 set 3. Okay, for question 6b, state the length of two cables, meaning that the length of AC and AD. Okay, so kita dah cari pun tadi. Okay, so length B. Length of AC okay so uh, Pythagoras theorem so 24 squared plus 7 squared square root which is equals to 25 okay so then another one length of AD okay so this one is 24 set 3 okay so then length AD is uh, 24 set 3 squared plus 24 squared square root Okay, so this one equals to 48 meter. Question number 7. The diagram on the right shows a triangle PQR with sides P, Q and R respectively and the corresponding opposite angles theta, beta and alpha. Show that the area of the triangle is given by the following formula. Okay, so now we are going to derive this formula. Uh, in topic of solution of triangle, we have learned the sine rule, cosine rule and area of triangle. Okay, so from this diagram, R is opposite to alpha. Okay, Q opposite to beta. P opposite to theta. So, sine rule, R over sine alpha equals to P over sine theta equals to uh, Q over sine beta. Okay, so now... Uh, we have learned the area of triangle, the formula area of triangle is A equals to 1 over 2 AB sine C. Okay, this is the basic formula. Okay, so now let's say we choose angle of C is angles of theta. Okay, so then we need to know the uh, R and Q. Okay, so from this formula of sine rule, okay, so R... Okay, R equals to P, this one. Okay, so we choose this one. Okay, so R equals to P 
sin alpha over sin theta. Okay. So then for Q, let's say this one. Okay, Q is this one. Okay, so then Q equals to uh, P sin beta over sin alpha. Then we are going to substitute this expression and this expression into this formula. Okay, so area is L. Okay, so L equals to 1 over 2. A is R. So P sin alpha over sin theta. Okay, times Q uh, P sin beta over sin theta. Okay, sin C is sin theta. Okay, so then we can simplify this one become P squared sine alpha sine beta over 2 sine theta. Okay, so this one P squared sine alpha sine beta over 2. Okay, sine theta, uh, we have uh, proved in, qu in question number 4. Okay, so this one, uh, sine theta equals to sine 180 minus theta. Okay, corresponding angle in quadrant 2. Okay, so this one equals to P squared sine alpha sine beta over 2. Okay, sine, okay, 180 here, if we have a triangle 180 minus theta actually, uh, beta plus alpha okay this one is beta plus alpha so then shown question number eight given second theta equals to t where theta between zero and uh, pi over two find the value of each of the following in terms of t okay from the info given second theta is t so second theta is t second is one over cos theta which is equals to t then cos theta equals to 1 over t okay so angles is uh, 0 to pi over 2 meaning that in quadrant 1 acute angle so then we draw right angle triangle okay so like this angle of theta okay cos is cha okay cha uh, this one c a h okay so adjacent is 1 Adjacent is 1, hypotenuse is t, so we can find the opposite one is t squared minus 1 squared, which is equals to 1. Okay, so then question A, find sine theta. Okay, sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, uh, which is equals to t squared minus 1 over t. Question B, cos pi over 2 plus theta. Okay, this is addition formula for cos. So, cos pi over 2 cos theta minus sine pi over 2 sine theta. Okay, cos pi over 2 cos 90 is 0. Okay, cos theta is from here 1 over t. Okay, minus uh, sine 90 is 1. And sine um, theta from question A, okay, which is square root t squared minus 1 over t okay so zero this one is zero so this one the final answer is negative square root t squared minus 1 over t c tangent pi minus theta okay c tangent pi minus theta okay same by using um Addition formula for tangent, so tangent pi minus tangent theta over 1 plus tangent pi tangent theta. Okay, so from the question, you substitute tangent theta. Tangent 180 is 0. Okay, tangent theta is square root t squared minus 1 over 1. Okay, over 1 minus 0 uh, square root t squared minus 1 over 1. Okay, so all these things, uh, 0 times whatever is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1. 
so then this one is uh, become negative square root t squared minus 1 question number 9 sketch the graph of the function fx equals to 1 plus modulus cos x for the domain x more or equals than 0 but less or equals than 2 pi okay so first of all graph of cos the basic graph of cos is like this okay this 2 pi pi 1 negative 1 but this one we got modulus okay modulus meaning that always positive so then the negative one will reflect about x exists so become this okay so then add one so uh, move up one unit okay so then finally your graph is like this um, x and fx okay so one become two okay mm, okay this is two pi this is pi maximum is two minimum is one okay a state the range that corresponds to the domain okay to find range is uh meaning that the value of fx so then this one this range okay from one to two so a the range is, uh, fx is from 1 to 2. B, uh, then by sketching suitable graph on the same axis, take the number of solution for x modulus cos x equals to 1 minus x. Okay, first of all, we divide all by x. So divide x, divide x, become modulus cos x equals to 1 over x minus x over x is 1. Okay, so we know that from the function, uh, previous function, we have fx equals to 1 plus modulus cos x. So then modulus cos x equals to fx minus 1. Okay, so this one we can substitute equals to fx minus 1. Okay, so this one is fx minus 1. Uh, equals to 1 over x minus 1. So then we eliminate. So the suitable graph is fx equal, uh, equals to 1 over x. Okay, so then we are going to draw this graph. Okay, so then we uh, construct the table. Okay, for this. Okay, so x and fx x0, x pi, and x2 pi. Okay, when x equals to 0, fx, f0 equals to 1 over 0 is uh, undefined. Okay, undefined. Okay, infinity. Okay, so then when x equals to pi, f pi equals to uh, 0 0.3 something. Let's say 0 0.3. Okay, and when uh, x equals to 2 pi, f2 pi equals to 0 0.15. 0 0.15. Okay, this one 0 0.15. Then we plot all these points on the same graph. Okay, so this one... Um, 0 infinity okay pi 0 0.3 to pi 0 0.15 okay pi 0 0.3 uh somewhere here okay 0 0.3 is somewhere here uh 2 pi 0 0.15 here okay so this function we can predict this is reciprocal graph okay so we draw the reciprocal graph on the same graph here graph of course so like this okay so then we can find the number of solution actually the intersection point okay so number of solution number of solution okay here only one intersection graph so number of solution equals to one